So here he is, one of the more popular fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom, the heavyweight contender, the Black Beast, Houston's finest Elvis. Yeah, Derek Wills is a phenomenal fighter, but he's just a fighter at heart. From the hardships that he had as a kid to his youth, developing and overcoming so much adversity to become a guy that has fought for the UFC Heavyweight Championship is truly inspiring for anyone that looks up to Derek Lewis. But not only is the story very good, the fighting skill is there to match. And he's got that old school, break your face open type of power. And he'll look to put it to good use in this matchup. <laughs> So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. John Jones enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, John Bone Jones. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys got to play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot just follow up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last man standing will be tonight. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Nice, good. Keep that pressure. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long range weapons are John Jones's calling card. Oh, huge shot lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow up shot that will finish the fight. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Barely 
beautifully timed and placed kick there by the Black Beast. Oh, clean hook there. Just over two minutes to go. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for the Black Beast, Eric Lewis. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Jones. Continuing to go to the head. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Ooh, nice defense. I thought that punch might get through. Oh, just a nasty leg kick that one hurt. That's horrible. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Oh, nice jab. Effective use of the jab there by Lewis. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he goes to the Oh! Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He's still hurt. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, a stun. Heading back to the corner after that round. Lewis has got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. Relax. Game plan was perfect, Okay? All right, back to the stools between rounds. And I guess nothing a little Botox can't fix, but let us show you the replay and ultimately the strike that caused that significant damage to his forehead. I mean, his forehead, you, you don't see it very often. But even when BJ Penn kick Diego Sanchez, the damage and the blood that flies off the head whenever you get a head kick to the head, you ready to it's, fight? it's very difficult to ready. deal with or get a cut yes. on the forehead. He's got to change his approach now to really protect himself. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be compromising the vision as yet, but he will need to protect himself so it doesn't get worse here in the next round. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter, back to his feet. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Trying to hammer that lead leg. So Lewis's left calf really starting to show signs of bruising now. A hook to the head by the Black Beast. There's that side kick. Just over three minutes to go. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Man, how many leg kicks can one man take? I mean, I think this is it. If he takes many more of these kicks, his night is going to be over. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh! 59 total strikes have landed for Derek Lewis. And landing with 45% accuracy tonight against John Jones. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice front kick there. Jones' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Big shot lands for both guys. Leg kick is true. Punch to the head. 
All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Uh, not being one-dimensional, uh, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with Ready you. Fight? He wants to fight. Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go get You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt you. So the blood really starting to flow. Every oh, he's trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Wow! Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, oh he is stunned, trying to recover here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, now we're going. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Man, this is getting harder to watch with every calf kick that lands. I'm not sure if the team should throw in the towel, maybe the referee get involved, but seems like the outcome here is an eventuality. Yeah, somebody needs to make a decision because this fighter is as tough as they come. He will oh, and he lands another left kick. Man, his opponent's on one way now. Uncle, if I, hey, it's like rock. On the end, it's like right now. Throw it in, boy, if I throw it. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, he's got him hurting here. Lewis's hook shot is blocked. Saw that. Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. North round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the call. Another debilitating kick to the leg. I mean, can you say it? It's over. Charles Jones with a huge win tonight. Holy smokes.
The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! All right, so as usual, John Jones leaving an opponent in his wake. He gets it done tonight by TKO. He does a really good job of setting you up. John Jones gets to his position, gets his opponent hurt, and gets the TKO victory. It's what we expected early, and now...